Next year, 2025, as you know, uh, Pope Francis has designated as one of our regular holy years, a year in which we remember the incarnation of the Lord. And this year, we are keeping a special year of prayer in preparation for the holy year. But the year of prayer has, an, has its own intrinsic value because it's a real encouragement to us right across the church worldwide, but especially within the family of our own archdiocese, to focus again on what's at the very heart of our faith in Jesus Christ and our life as witnesses within the Catholic Church. And that focus should be on our prayer. Prayer which we try to use at the beginning of the day to bring us into the presence of God. Prayer which we believe lifts our hearts and minds into God's presence. And prayer in which we can remember others as we seek to serve them in our daily witness. So this year, especially, we are focusing on the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. It's a prayer in which we can find all the intentions of our hearts as we pray for the needs of the Church and of the world, and as we ask for a deepening of our own faith, looking ahead to the Jubilee year next year. I'd like to invite you to make use of the wonderful resources which are available via the diocesan website and also via your parish communities for the year of prayer. And I'd also like to ask you, when you pray the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, in the setting of the Mass or on other occasions, maybe in the Rosary, then remember that these are the words of Jesus Christ himself offered to us so that we may truly be united with him, with our Father in heaven, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, with one another. I'd like to invite you to join me in praying the Our Father today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Saint Chad, pray for us. Every blessing to you, and I hope that this year of prayer will bring you great joy as you live your faith day by day, witnessing to Jesus Christ. May God bless you.